Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Fender Man and we're going to be working on this Central Pneumatic 21 gallon air compressor today. Now I'm having problems personally with it not wanting to actually get over 40 PSI and I believe it's a couple of seals down in here and I'll actually show you that here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and start by taking this cowling off and then we'll get to those other bolts. So we're going to start by taking our Phillips head screwdriver here and taking off these four Phillips head screws all the way around it and you can see it's already loose but we're going to go ahead and take those off anyway. Okay, now that we have those bolts out, or screws, we'll take this off. Now we have four bolts up in here that is actually keeping that piston in place. So we're going to take those off and it should allow us access to the gaskets. Okay, now that we've gotten that part out, we're taking a look at this gasket here, and it's actually ripped quite a bit on this side, but it probably has a lot to do with me actually pulling on it, but there's actually some crud down here, so we're going to clean this all off with some sandpaper, cut this loose, and then uh, remove these gaskets. There's actually two here, one up top and one sandwich in there, and I will actually show you how to pry those loose without tearing them up too much, because we actually need these as templates for our new gaskets. So let's give it a shot. <laughs> Okay, so what we did here essentially, because we wanted to keep this particular gasket. Now, when I took the razor blade and started cutting along here and making sure that we actually had stuff, a template to go off of, we needed that. So we're going to clean this off and I'm going to get to the second gasket in here, which we need is a screwdriver or Yep, need a little bit of a screwdriver to pry that out of there. But, in this particular instance, we're going to go ahead and clean this up. And then, I'm going to take my handy dandy paper. We're going to draw it out on the gasket paper. We're going to make brand new gaskets.
I actually found where the seal was broken on this right here, which would actually convert to right there. That was actually blown completely out. Now, I don't believe, yeah, that was blown out. There's got some ripping right there. So that was sitting like this. I'm pulling it off right here. That's ripped right here. That's completely gone. So we're going to go ahead and clean this all up here and start to, and I'll show you how to actually draw the other one on there. Okay, so now that I've spent some time and got these surfaces all cleaned out, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing the uh, template for the gasket here. And I've actually gotten this part here clean too so we can have a decent seal on both of those parts. Now what I'm going to do is take this pen here. Now since the other gasket kind of fell to bits here, it's just gone. Uh, it actually, I did before I had a chance to tear it all up, I did find where the leak was coming from. But in this particular instance here we're going to grab this pen, which you can pick up at your local auto parts store and open this side up. And I'm going to paint a template for our gaskets. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so in this, uh, just got done cl clipping this up here. We have our newly made gasket. Sorry, I got bugs around me. I got this newly made gasket here. So what we're going to do is take this tool here and make little perforations along the edges that we need to make for this particular part. Since we need the holes in here, we need to make little cuts just like this. It's kind of like you would with binder paper. Just pull it out, same thing. Just take this, make little perforations in there, and then I'll do the holes, drill those out, drill out the rest of these, and we will have one brand new gasket.
Okay. Well, finally got that one done. It actually fits rather well on our new on our part here. Now that ink isn't going to affect anything too badly. I'm gonna definitely shave that off of here with some uh, sandpaper here, but that fits perfectly. So that is a good savings. Now I had that paper for quite some time, probably going on like what th two, three years now. So I figured that, that was going to be easier to do. So that's that. Now what I'm going to do now is take my new or still paper and take my gasket. We're going to make a new lower gasket out of our old template here. So let's get that matched up. It should fit just like this. And by the time, with some Hollywood magic, by the time you come back, it will be done. So, kind of a tip for you, if you're deciding to make notches in it or making these edges just a little bit more smooth, take your drill bit and a drill, I have a little portable black and decker here, and it kind of makes the edges just right. So I have little notches here, you can see those notches are just about the same, and that's what we want. It's okay if it's a little frayed, it's not going to be a big problem. Uh, if we take this, not everything should fit up. And don't worry, I'll sand that in a second here. So that fits through there. And this goes on like this. And that goes on top. Now, don't tell me that's not cool. That's for making our own gaskets. Now, this took me probably about, I want to say, three, three, four hours. If you were to continuously work on it like I did. But, I had a lunch break. <laughs> so, I will sand this up, and by the time you come back, we will be putting it back on the air compressor and firing it up. Okay, so, now, I have this all cleaned back up again, the ink is gone. And we're going to take this, and put these back on here. Line up the holes. Put the screws back on. Oh, got that backwards. There we go. Put the screws back on, fire her up, and it'll be good to go.
All right. Well, isn't that something neat? <laughs> well, it looks like our little paper gasket fix worked. We're up now to 120 PSI, and there are absolutely no leaks. I can hear just the littlest of the tiniest one right there. But let's go ahead and open up the gas valve, or air valve. Now, the problem I was having before was I couldn't run this for any more than about maybe five minutes at a time and let this thing run itself until the circuit breaker popped. So that is too cool. Two little paper gaskets, made them at home by myself. And we have one fixed Harbor Freight Special Central, to Central Pneumatic 21 gallon air compressor. So hopefully you guys learned something. This has been Fender Man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Like it and subscribe and we'll catch you later.